Hi everyone, this is George Kinkoff and I'm an amateur astrophotographer. Tonight I have two things to share with you. First, I'll give you an update about Comet C2021A1 Leonard that has almost become visible with naked eye. Second, I'll share with you my latest picture of this comet that I got. I think you're gonna like it. Before we begin, I would like to say a big thank you for being active in my previous video about Comet Leonard. This video has become the most popular on my channel. I've received a lot of positive comments and even some private messages that actually motivate me to continue my work and film more videos about astronomy and astrophotography. Thank you guys for the support that you've given to me. Will we really see Comet Leonard with naked eye? That's the question that appeared a few days ago. The latest comet observations conclude that it might have disintegrated already. There are a few facts that support this idea. First, on the latest pictures of the comet, we can see that a comet has the triangular comma shape. This shape is usually observed in comets that end up disintegrating. Since we see the same picture with Comet Leonard, there is an assumption that it could disintegrate already. However, in detailed pictures of the comet score, we see that it looks good. At least there are no spots of core debris yet. Second, during the last two weeks of November, the brightness of the comet stopped increasing, as it was supposed to do according to the forecasts. Yes, the brightness is still increasing every day, but it's not happening at the rate that the astronomers had expected. Indeed, a decrease in brightness rate is not a good sign. However, comets are really unpredictable objects. There might be different reasons why the brightness of Comet Leonard stopped increasing in the way we had expected. For example, the brightness could stop increasing due to the local depletion of active volatiles near the surface of the core. Or there is even an easier explanation. The drop of magnitude can be caused by the moonlight that was interfering with comet observations in November. In the first two weeks of December, there is no moonlight during comet observations. As a result, we might see that the brightness of the comet will increase. Has Comet Leonard disintegrated or not? We don't know for sure. There are some facts that assume that this broken up and some explanations that refute this idea. We need more observations in order to make a confident statement about the health conditions of Comet Leonard. I hope that this comet is in a good shape and will see it with naked eye eventually. As a reminder, in the first two weeks of December, the comet is available for observations in the early morning sky in the northern hemisphere. You need to look at the east, northeast part of the sky. I'll leave some links in the description where you can find some star maps that will help you to find this comet or you can use any planetarium application to do so. I would also suggest you to watch my first video about Comet Leonard, where I cover some detailed information about it and interesting dates when you want to spend to observe this comet. The link to this video will appear right here. So that was an update about Comet Leonard. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Do you think that this comet has disintegrated or it just acts a little weird and its brightness will normalize soon? I would be interested in reading your opinions. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel, because I have more videos about amateur astronomy and astrophotography coming. Now, it's time for you to see my latest picture of Comet Leonard. I hope I'll show you a picture of the comet together with a star cluster called Messier 3 in the same field of view. Right now, it's evening of December 1st, and I don't know if I can take the picture or not because of the weather forecast. Anyway, I'll show you something, and I hope you're gonna like that picture. Alright guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future videos, until then, clear skies!